Chaos, this is Kaipacha with the weekly Pele report for March 22nd of 2017. Happy Sun in Aries and Happy Venus in Aries and Mercury in Aries and Uranus in Aries and the moon, uh, new moon happening in Aries. Oh my God. <laughs> it's warrior season, the season of the warrior. Let's look at the bigger, bigger, bigger picture, though. Zoom out a little bit here, okay, yeah? And come into what? Jupiter square Pluto. I'm going to be talking about this, you know, Jupiter square Pluto. It's exact on the 30th, but it's still at the same degree, okay? You know, 19 degrees to 19 degrees, it's going on all week here, okay? And uh, this, what else is going on this week? Okay, Venus conjuncts the sun, right there in Aries. It's like a new moon, only Venus is the moon. Venus is, there's a straight line. You could take a ruler, okay? And, you know, if you had a picture, you could draw, you know, this beautiful line right from the earth through Venus to the sun. So she is connecting with the cosmic source of our solar system right now. It's awesome. Very powerful. I gave the Sabian symbol. I think it was in uh, some free webinar or something. I can talk about that a little bit more today. But, uh, you know, I, the, the Jupiter square Pluto, the Venus conjunct the Sun, Mercury conjunct Uranus is another one coming up. Okay, that is happening um, on, on Saturday also. It's a big day. Uh, that's on Sunday, actually. There's our bananas. Speaking of big things happening. <laughs> and not only that, but let's see, uh, I want to go over here, give you a shot of these other bananas. Can you see them over there? No. Let's walk around here. <laughs> Moon's in Aquarius. I'm a little feeling a little funky, kinky, strange, bizarre today. So <laughs> uh, it goes into Pisces on Saturday. Okay, stays in Pisces. Hits Neptune, South Node, Chiron, and then it goes into Aries on Monday, okay? And then we have, I mean, come on, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Uranus all in Aries. Yikes, okay? You know, let's try to keep our swords in our sheaths so nobody gets hurt. <laughs> it's not just Kali, man. Men and women, we're all feeling Aries energy. Rah! It's the wild man, wild woman. Look the frick out. Jupiter's uh, not only square Pluto, but it's opposite Uranus. Yeah, so, you know, Jupiter is just like feeding more, 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 more. Oh, my God, look, at there's another tiny little. Here, this guy's right. All right, uh, enough. This is... I don't know what this is—a mutant, <laughs> a mutant banana happening over here, man. Anyway, we got uh, three of them. All right, let me just turn off this camera, look at it, and uh, uh, yeah, talk to you a little bit more about astrology. I think that's all that's really going on. I mean, uh, the, the new moon is at seven degrees, thirty-seven minutes of Aries. Maybe I'll take a look at that Sabian symbol. Okay. Uh, we already know that uh, the degree of Venus conjunct the Sun, the Sabian symbol for that, is a triangle with wings. Oh, yes. So, all right. Talk to you soon. Okay. So, what's going on? Well, interesting. I mean, I was just uh, having a conversation with my wife about this uh, masculine and feminine and the masculine desire to challenge life to face danger to conquer to expand to penetrate into the unknown and to you know it's just like this is yeah the old courageous brave warrior of aries is a super masculine sign and it can also be considered, and she was bringing up, you know, the selfishness involved with that. <laughs> because it is very self-engrossed and it is, you know, my, my excitement. And, you know, it's like I, I said, this is fun. This is excitement. This is, this is you know, 
uh, if I can't do this, I may as well die, right? I mean, why even bother being here if there's like no fun, excitement of challenge and danger of, you know, testing my my resources, my will, my strength, my intelligence, everything against life. It's like I pit myself against life. Ah! <laughs> And this is the kind of thing I did Kali last week, right? You know, this is this energy. And, and, and so like to have the feminine in this masculine sign and then, you know, to have the sun and now a new moon. The new moon is setting the tone, okay, for this whole next month. Whoa. You know, and Mercury coming around to Uranus. Okay, opposing Jupiter, conjuncting Uranus. And Uranus is extreme, so we're going to extremely, okay, charge, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, bang, slash, conquer, compete. It's just like, oh boy, warriors create wars. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, I, my message for this, you know, week, and it's, it's in the mantra, and I'm going to talk a lot about this mantra, you know. The diamonds in the water, right? You know, there is this clarity, and the masculine is also has this, you know, clarity. Yeah, it's this upper chakra, the upper world. You know, the feminine is the darker and the inner and the personal. So we have this clarity and this structure and this sharpness and this, you know, and this judgment. That, you know, yes, you can die. You can go to, you know, you can go to jail. You can go free. You can. It's like, you know, this control and all this, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, but, you know, these laws and enforcing the laws and, you know, really building things and conquering things. And, you know, I, this is this is all, <clears throat> you know, uh, well, now with uh, opposite Jupiter, it can be too much. And the square from Pluto, OK, too much. And Uranus, extreme. This is just like, you know, it's a very super powerful time. And like we say, Jupiter came around here in November. Okay, and it came direct. And I, you know, I was talking about Jupiter can be excess. Okay, too much. The, when it comes into an opposition or a square, the danger is overextending, overspending, overspeaking, <laughs> you know, uh, over anticipating, uh, you know, overconfidence, uh, overdoing the whole game of life, okay, in every single realm. And here in particular, it has to do with what? Well, squaring Pluto is business. And everybody is so damn busy these days, yeah? You know, trying to make the money, trying to be, you know, Capricorn, Pluto Capricorn is still challenging our security issues. Financial security, and in Ju with Jupiter, it's relationship security. How, how secure is this relationship? Okay, and then it's just like, you know, all this Aries energy just wants to bust out and do my own thing in my own way, in my own time, and I don't have time for a relationship. I'm too busy making money, and I, and I can't trust or rely on other people to stick around. So, but, you know, if I make money or I put my time and energy into my job, and, and, it, and it gives me a constant return of financial return. So there can be these choices being made now, really, between relationship and business, between having a, a personal, loving partnership, okay, and having a safe, solid, secure job with a promotion and a reputation and something bigger going on and going on and going on. And we can really be tempted to put a lot of energy out into Okay, out into the world, out into business, out into money. Now Mars is also in Taurus. Okay, the want, the will, the desire is to establish physical, tangible assets, financial possessions, resources. Yes, boom. So this can be a very materialistic time. This can be a very kind of like, you know what, I'm not really seeing clouds and everything like that. You know, I'm, I'm looking at my checkbook <laughs> and my balance. You know, I got to do my taxes and whatever thing going on, you know. This is like we're, we're coming into, you know, we're really coming into this time period that I want to focus a little bit here on the elements. The elements. And this year, the big thing of 2017, I did this whole thing on the big picture. Uh, it's, it's actually available now. I just put it out. It's a, you know, an hour-long video where I went into 
more than the weekly, but here I want to just look at Jupiter opposite Uranus squaring Pluto. Jupiter is in Libra. It's an air sign. Uranus is in Aries, a fire sign. Pluto is in Capricorn, an earth sign. Saturn is weaving back and forth up here in Sagittarius, another fire sign. We have Neptune and Chiron in Pisces, but like I've said a million times, Pisces is not a water sign. Cancer and Scorpio are water. Pisces is ether, spirit, no substance, infinite potential, dreamland, nirvana, samadhi. There's nothing in nirvana and samadhi but joy, <laughs> right? So what do we have? No water, no water, water, the source of life on planet Earth, juiciness, lusciousness, emotion, spirit, connection, flowing, feeling, up and down, in the present moment. We've got this Jupiter in Libra, this air, okay, that is the lawyer and the diplomat and the, you know, everything about tact and appearances and, you know, da, da, da. and Pluto in Capricorn, the mask, the persona, okay, about the responsible, dutiful, you know, person of integrity and responsibility and, you know, like, you know, you can trust me and uh, I'll take care of things and blah, blah, blah. And then you've got, you know, the fire, Okay, Saturn, okay, and Uranus, okay, and now this new moon, you know, in fire, 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 which is like explosions, you know, expel, you know, expel all the Muslims, okay, build the wall. I mean, it's, a, you know, we have this very, you know, warrior kind of energy going on, okay, you know, in the United States, and this is a, just a warrior time, this is a warrior year, and we need to look out, and we need to like harness our masculine, harness our warrior so that we don't do damage. This can be a time where we damage our relationships, where we damage, okay, other people, where in our self-interest, in our blindness, in our zeal, in our fire, we lose the water connection that we are together, that we are one. So the, the mantra this week is about diamonds. You know, diamonds, they cut through anything. They drill through anything. It's the hardest substance that there is. Diamonds, and it's clear, and it's radiant and gorgeous and brilliant and beautiful and amazing. Diamonds, yeah, I mean, diamonds are, you know, our best friends. <laughs> Everybody loves diamonds. Give me more diamonds, more, more, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, they're associated with Pluto, god of the underworld. They come from the underworld, okay? they are So they are a symbol of power, richness, wealth, influence. So diamonds are this very powerful source. And we can look at that, and then we can look at water. Water has a lot of the same qualities, yeah? It's clear. It reflects, yeah, when sunlight hits it. You know, the sunlight bounces off and go, oh, a drop of water. Oh, my God. Diamonds. You, you watch the sunset or whatever, you know, the sun on, you know, on the ocean, on the seas, you know, diamonds, 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 you, you know, and the stars look like diamonds. And so, but this water element, it's very clear. It's crystal. It's pure. It's clean. It's a symbol, yes, of life. And, and so there's, there's a lot of parallels between this clarity, but one is super freaking hard and one is soft and one connects and one nurtures, one helps life grow, one gives life. They say life came out of the oceans and the water. So the Pluto polarity point is cancer. Okay, from 2008 till 2024. Okay, the evolution path, the Pluto polarity point is the path of evolution. If we want to evolve and grow, we want to move towards cancer. Cancer is, you know, ruled by the moon. It's a water sign and it has to do with seeking emotional connection and seeking emotional security through bonding, bonding. And that's why it's square to Aries because Aries could give a shit about bonding. You know, it's Aries of bond. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm a warrior. I don't want anybody holding me back, holding me down. I got to think about somebody else, <laughs> like the passengers in the car. This is my race car, man. I'm going. So I just want to say that the more we can really balance all of this Aries energy, fiery, dynamic, masculine, conquering, powerful drive with, okay, a sensitivity. Emotional connection is also emotional awareness, conscious awareness of my impact on the other. This is Jupiter in Libra. Okay, am I scaring the poop out of all the passengers in my car? Okay, am I, you know, like really, you know, uh, freaking people out and irritating people and just having, a, you know, a negative impact on my environment? Thinking about being conscious of the other and listening to the other to where I am not so totally and completely self-absorbed. And this is the feminine quality. So when we have, okay, like I say, this Kali energy and this feminine, you know, we got the new moon now and this Venus setting the tone for the next synodic cycle of Venus as the warrior goddess, I'm saying look out planet Earth and look out masculine, <laughs> you know, and be careful feminine, yeah, you know, this is just a time where the feminine can just like really blow, okay? Aries is anger. Mars is anger, okay? When we, you know, hold in or suppress and we can just castrate, okay, each other. We can really, you know, have this damaging impact and influence, you know, whoosh, slice. Use that sword, you know, inappropriately. It's beautiful to use it appropriately, cutting cords, okay, you know, with the past or, you know, releasing and liberating and freeing. But we walk this fine, fine, fine line. So it's just like this is where we want to just maintain an awareness of our water, yeah? So both diamonds and a drop of water are beautiful, bright, and clear. And though diamonds may make me rich, I need water more this year. This mantra is about, right? Water is also connected with spirit, right? Diamonds is material wealth. I can be rich. I can be egocentric. I can be, you know, powerful and in my own you know, in my own world, in my own way, solid, safe, secure, you know, uh, 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 uh. And water spreads out. Water fills any container. Water mutates and adapts itself, you know, you know, to what is needed. And it nurtures and it gives life. In La Kesh, I am another you. Yeah, Alakin. This is just like this, uh, this water element Okay, balanced with, I'm not saying drop the diamond and don't ever use a sword and don't ever cut anything and don't ever assert yourself. This is not, but it is just simply being aware of there is self and other, and we're coming out of an old paradigm of selfishness and arrogance, self centeredness, and conquering and owning. And we're moving into a new paradigm. And this involves both the masculine and the feminine really dancing together, devoting themselves to each other, uh, using their power and their energy to fulfill the other rather than be autonomous, sovereign. Okay, I'm my own masculine and my own feminine and I'm independent and I'm, you know, you don't, I don't need anybody and nobody needs me and we're all free, but we're, nobody's connected big danger of the Aquarian age. We're all so self-sufficient and we're all so autonomous and we're all so cool that we don't need each other and we don't bond and we don't connect and we don't have kids and the human race dies off the face of the planet. <laughs> it's not happening in the less, uh, in the third world countries. <laughs> That's happening like more in the, you know, and I don't need to go there. Let's wrap it up. Kai Pacha.
Okay, okay, okay. Both diamonds and a drop of water are brilliant, bright, and clear. And though diamonds may make me rich, I need water more this year. I mean, it just brings up another thing, simplicity, yeah? I mean, I'm in this permaculture, you know, condo community, whatever you want to call it, you know, and we're setting our priorities. We got some gift money and we can spend this money on what? We could build a sports court, okay? Or, you know, we could grow more food or we could, uh, you know, get our water situation like all squared away and, you know, and the drainage, you know, we need to, uh, you know, some houses are getting flooded and it's like, you know, where do we want to spend our money? We could, you know, uh, uh, do the pool area or a yoga platform or, you know, you know, we can make all these enhancements or enrichments or we can look at the basic food, water, you know, and, and, and it's, it's really the more we can stay in touch with Gaia, the more simple we can live our lives the less impact, the less footprint we have, yes, the less we really, um, well, we, we, we actually, the less we need, the more we can find joy, peace, and contentment with what we have. Water can also be a symbol of that, yeah? May you be peaceful, joyous, and content with whatever you've got. <laughs> I got my t-shirt, thankful and grateful. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Namaste. Aloha. So much love.